Next up, and I'm really happy to hear Joe mention this, and this is ex ex exemplified by Luttrell, is what I call the 20X. You guys know what this means, right? You're capable of 20 times, at least 20 times, what you think you're capable of. And a budget instructor told me that at Hell Week, right at the beginning. He said, class, you can do this. I don't care what you think. Your body's capable 20 times what you think it is. So this is about belief. It's about belief in the form of belief systems, rigid paradigms, societal constructs of who we are, who you're told you are, what I call a background of obviousness or boo. We all have a background of obviousness that is so obvious that we don't even see it. We just assume that we are who we are because of that's who we are. But it's wrong. Most of what we think about what we're capable of is wrong. It's limited. You know why? Because you don't know. You haven't tested it. So how could you know? You're making assumptions, right? And you know what they say about assumptions. Makes an ass out of you and me when you assume. So your background of obviousness is based upon limited belief systems. Reality is you're capable of 20 times at least what you think you are. Now, how do you challenge this? Well, you go do 100 kettlebell swings in three minutes and 20 seconds right? Or you go through Seal Fit Academy and then you train yourself for 50 hours nonstop with no sleep at the end. You come out of that with a new concept of who you are. So replace those with whatever your challenge is. And that's why I love, I love what you guys are doing with your challenge that Joe has created for you. But set that bar high. Set it high if you haven't set it or when you reach your current goal, choose another and set it higher. Be audacious. Be audacious. I mean, it, it is an incredible feeling to accomplish something so audacious. And then you look at it and say, holy cow, Mark and Joe were right. And then guess what? There's 20 times after that. There's another layer and then another and another. And I don't know what we're truly capable of myself. I just know that it's pretty intense. Look at Luttrell. That was intense, okay? Seriously intense. Look at Apollo 13. Like, we don't pay attention to that too much, but that, that story of what those guys accomplished against the most incredible odds, right? I mean, that speaks to never quitting, too, but also, I mean, not even NASA thought they were capable of bringing that space tin can back to earth. I don't even want to call it a spaceship. So 20x. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself beyond reasonable. Most people, you know, a lot of admirals in the Navy have encouraged buds to get rid of Hell Week. They say Hell Week is unreasonable. What are you trying to accomplish with Hell Week? So many people quit. It's costing the government a lot of money. If you just did away with Hell Week, you know, we'd, get, we'd have more SEALs. <laughs> it's true, right? But that's like the secret sauce. They used to call it Motivation Week back when they started it. That's the secret sauce. Because when you get to the end of Motivation Week and all the quitters have quit and you're left with those 30 or 40 guys, you know they got your back. You have a common ground of experience that is unordinary. It is so uncommon that they're your brothers, and it could be sisters, because there's certainly women who could become SEALs unquestionably. So it's uncommon. It was an uncommon challenge that created a whole new belief system, a whole new paradigm in us, changed our background of obviousness to a new one. Our new background of obviousness when layered with the culture of the SEALs, was we're invincible. We're winners. 
Can't beat us. Failure's not an option. Only easy day was yesterday. Hoo-yah.